Bastion and Emmeline, Sleeping Bear, written by Terry Sundet. Emmeline hopped through the forest. She sniffed all the blooming flowers as she went along. I love this spring, she sang. Suddenly, a colorful butterfly fluttered by. Emmeline found herself on her back in the tall, soft grass. Oh no, are you okay? said a voice. The little bunny looked up. There before was the cutest, cuddliest looking brown cub that she'd ever seen. Emmeline felt her arms and legs. I'm fine. My name is Emmeline. What's yours? I'm Bastion. He held his paw out and helped Emmeline up. Maybe we could be friends, Bastion. From that day on, the bunny and the cub played every day. They played hopscotch and they played chase. They played lots and lots of other games too. They became best friends and played together the whole summer. Before long, spring turned into summer, then summer turned into fall. Don't you love all the different colors of fall? asked Emmeline. The trees are preparing for winter. That's my favorite time of year. Bastion scratched his head. Why is that? Isn't it cold and dreary? Emmeline waved her arms. Oh no, Christmas time is in the winter. That's the most stupendous time of the year. It's magical. Hmm. I sleep through the winter, said Bastion as he shrugged. Never saw a Christmas. The bunny's tail began to twitch and her eyes opened wide. That's not possible. You can't sleep through Christmas. Bastion shrugged again. That's what my family and friends do. We sleep through the cold weather. In fact, we start tomorrow. Emmeline's ears wilted down onto her back. Oh no, I'm going to miss you. Over the next couple of months, Emmeline played with her big sister. Her name was Henrietta and she was 11 years old. As it got closer to the special day, she helped her mother decorate their home. They also baked lots and lots of cookies. The week before Christmas, Emmeline was making gifts for her family and friends. Henrietta noticed Emmeline wasn't her usual sparkly self. What's the matter? asked Henrietta. It's my best friend Bastion, Emmeline sighed. He sleeps through Christmas. I got him the best hat and scarf ever, but I won't be able to give them to him. You'll just have to wait until the spring, Henrietta said. It'll go fast. You'll see. Before Emmeline knew it, her favorite day of the year arrived. She woke and sniffed the air. Yum! Biscuits and eggs. Her ears perked as she heard the crackling of the fire in the hearth. The family sang songs and ate Christmas goodies. Then they exchanged gifts. But Emmeline had one gift left. And can you guess who that was for? What am I going to do with you? She said to the gift in her paws. It's not right that Bastion doesn't get to celebrate Christmas. Emmeline tightened her lips and wiggled her nose. I have to do something about this. I don't want to wait till the spring. Off she hopped through the snow to Bastion's den. It was dark inside the den and she moved very quietly through the room. Emmeline found him huddled in a corner, sound asleep. Bastion, she whispered in his ear. Bastion, she poked him gently on his back. The cub opened one eye, then the other. He looked around the den, then up at Emmeline. A big yawn. What are you doing here? This is our hibernating time. You shouldn't be here. Emmeline's ears drooped. I, I have a Christmas present for you. She held out the gift. Bastion sat up on his bed, and soon he was unwrapping his gift. A hat and scarf. The cub was smiling again. These are for me? That's awfully nice of you. Emmeline's face brightened up. She was very happy that Bastion liked her Christmas gift. And now she wondered if Bastion would come outside to play, now that he had both a hat and a scarf. Well, said the cub as he looked at his family sleeping. Okay, but we have to be quiet. The friends snuck outside. Bastion's eyes opened wide. Everything is white. It's not dreary at all. What happened? Emmeline laughed. It's snow. This is what happens every winter while you sleep. I'll show you how to play in it. Emmeline hopped through the snow. Bastion hopped after her, down the path and into the white. Then she laid down and made a snow angel. Bastion made one too. After that, they built a snowman together. Wow, this is so much fun, yelled Bastion. I can't believe I miss this every year. 
Just then the cub let out a long yawn, but I should be going back to sleep. But thank you for showing me winter, Emmeline, and for the Christmas gift. Thanks for playing with me. I promise I will not wake you up until spring. Emmeline watched her friend walk away. Little by little, he disappeared between the snow-covered trees. So nice to celebrate Christmas with Bastion, Emmeline said to herself. And soon, she's also on her way home. Maybe Bastion now is dreaming about the snow. <laughs>